Hey everybody, this is me, one of our last videos, I think our second last video on how to do some stuff in AutoCAD for the Architecture 215 class. So, welcome. Um, today we're going to learn how to make a CTB file. So when we're plotting, we need, to, we need to transfer some information from colors to line weights. When we made our layers way back in the day, we named them with a number, so 005, 030, stuff like that. We can put numbers in between there. What this corresponds to, this corresponds to the line weight. But we don't do line weights by layer, we do line weights by color. The color red is going to have a line weight thickness of 0 0.05. Uh, the color magenta, 0 0.05. The color gray, 0 0.05. And cyan, 0 0.05. Uh, concrete and walls are, point, or are 0 0.30. So that's going to be 0 0.3. Not 0 0.03 or anything, but 0 0.3. These are 0 0.05. This is really thin. This is going to be six times thicker. So what this number is, this number is going to end up being um, 0.3 millimeters thick. That's how wide the lines can be, and this is 0 0.05 millimeters thick, the thinnest line we can get. So, in effect, we're going to have two line weights in most of our drawings that we do. We can add more next semester. So, the way we do that is we need to make something or create something that will transfer uh, or will convert our colors to a line weight. So, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to create this thing called a CTB file. So, if I go file plot, um, make sure your arrow is, if you have a screen looks like this, make sure your arrow is maximized. And what we do is we go over here, and you want to click on this down arrow, and create something, or create a new one. And we already created one. We created Arch 215A in class. We're just going to make a new one. And I'm going to start from scratch. Hit next. And I call it Arch 215B. You can call it what you want, or just watch. And hit next. In the exam I give you, you are not going to be required to, to remake one, but you will have to edit one. I'll show you how to do that. The next thing I do is click on the plot style table editor. And then what this is, is this, these are all the colors in AutoCAD. These are all the colors that I can choose from. I just want to use colors from one to nine right now. So when I plot, if I select all, let's say I select red. Right now I'm talking about the yellow, the color red. When it, the properties, when it prints, right now it's set to print using the object color red. I don't want it to print to red. I want all my lines to print to black. So when I make a line drawing, um, say for architecture, I won't have red, green, yellow on it. All my lines will be black, but there'll be varying line thicknesses. So I want to actually change all of these lines to black. These first nine, I want everything to plot to black. So make that change. And then color red. If you go back to your layers, if you have it open on a separate screen or something, this is where we can where we change all of our object line weights. So the red one, that's a 005. So that's a 0 0.05. And yellow, I don't know if we have cyan. That one's a 0 0.05. Magenta, that's also 0 0.05, and gray 8, that's 0 0.05. But the one that is not, color 7 right here, if I click on this, see they're all also selected to black because I selected them all in the first place. Um, the line weight I want there is 0 0.3, so my layering, that one's going to be a bit thick, a bit thicker, that's my exterior walls, so I want that one to pop out a bit more. So that's what I want you to do, select all of these, now they're going to have varying line weights, but they're all black. Again, if I go to red, it's going to not print out as 0 0.05. Yellow, I don't use the color yellow, so it's not going to be printing out as anything. But that's okay. We hit save and close, and then finish. So now I've got this thing set up here. So when I transfer, when I change my, uh, when I send my drawing to the printer, it's going to go through this plot style table. So it's going to say, hey, red, I want you to print out on a black, black color and at this line thickness, which is 0 0.05 and your white. I want white to be printed out as black, or a black line. Black and white is the same thing in AutoCAD. It just depends on the color of your screen, your back of your screen is. Um, black or white, whichever. It's going to print as a 0.3, and it's also going to print as a black line, but it'll be thicker than the rest of these. Uh, let's get plotting then. So I can just hit cancel here. That is now set up. So that plot style table editor, that, those pen weights, I've set them up. They're saved on my C drive, so it's actually saved in the hard drive. So now when I go to plot, I can go file plot. This now appears. This is saved in the, in the hard drive somewhere. And if you want to change it, you can go to your A1, your B1. You can go to any one of these you want. Um, I'm going to use Arch 215A. This is the one that, that we set up earlier today. Um, when I do my print, I'm going to print. This is the printer that this is my default, so you'll be printing out in the room. I would also like you to select the paper size you need. So in the exam, you'll print 11 by 17. You can either do that or letter size. Where's 8.5 by 11? There it is. Whichever. I'll go 11 by 17 for fun. Uh, and then when you print, it, this might say display right now. So they'll print what is being displayed, which you don't even know what that is. Uh, I want to actually window it. So if I select window and then go and window it, I'm going to print my, you know, quarter done main floor plan here. I always want the center of the plot. I want this, this drawing to be centered in the piece of paper I'm making. And you can, you can go fit the paper. 
this, these are my line weights up here. If you don't have this screen, again, click this little arrow right there for more options. I want it in landscape, and I want it fit to paper. So I preview that. That's as big as, that's the full size, as large a, as it would actually fit on the paper. I don't want that. In the exam, I want you to print to a certain scale, which I don't have here right now, and I don't know why it's not showing up. But yours, when you guys print all the 3 sixteenths and a bunch of other those, those should show up. Yeah, so yours will say something like 3 sixteenths to a foot or 1 eighth of an inch to a foot. Select that as the scale that you want to print to. I'll actually go open a new drawing and see if I can find it. What I did is I went and grabbed another drawing. The original drawing I was on didn't have Imperial stuff set up, so I've come back and set it up exactly the same way. But now when I click on custom, all these pop up. So say it's, I want to print it a quarter of, a quarter of an inch per foot. That'll be the scale it prints out. So there's my printer, there's the paper size I want. I've windowed it and I've made my window around that object there. I hit escape to get out of that. It is centered and it's all set up to scale. It's also in landscape. And I go up here and this is where now I say, I want my red pens to go and be defined as per that plot style table I just made there. And then I always preview it. This will always pop up, annotation, standard, that's okay. So this thing is now at a scale of quarter inch per foot. If I change the scale to say 3 sixteenths, it's going to become a bit smaller on my page. There, see how it kind of shrunk a little bit? This is 3 sixteenths inch scale, so it's actually printing to scale now. Of course, we draw everything at 1 to 1. Um, so if I then hit OK, it would actually fire it off to that printer, so just hit OK. One thing I do want to show you, though, I in the exam, I'm going to ask you to edit your, your plot style table. So when you get in this thing and you select the, the CTB that you want, you can just hit this button right here and go edit things. So you can edit them as you go. Say I want the blue color. I want this to be my grade eventually. I want that to be real dark. You can go in and just edit this. So right now I'm actively editing, save and close. I actively edited Arch 215A. So if I go into that again, the blue is now saved as 0.5. And I saved it. That is now saved on my hard drive. So if I say to you, I want you to change four colors. I want green to become you know, 0.1, and I want gray 9 to become, I don't know, point, point 0.2, and you save and close that, the, the CTB that you have created is now saved to that. You have now edited it. So again, you edit it. Everything else stays the same. You see red? Get out of there. Red is still, stupid thing that pops up. I don't know how make it go away. Yellow is still 0 .0, 0 0.05. All these ones are 0 0.05 from here. That's 0.3. Blue is now 0.5. That thing's bothering me. Um, so all the all the changes that I just made because I clicked on this button right here will be saved as long as I hit save and close. So that's how you set up your CTB file and that's how you plot. I'll make another video which touches on a couple other things. Um, how to draw the ellipse and uh, how to use P-Edit and Explode. And one more thing I can't remember right now, but I'll cover one more video with a couple more things in it. And uh, you should be ready for your exam. Talking a bit. Oh, blocks. I was going to cover how you do blocks too. I'll do that in a little bit. So, have fun. Talk to you soon.